Welcome MA 103 students. This video AI corresponds to the lesson entitled Introduction to Discrete Dynamical Systems. This video AI is a continuation of the cookie jar problem. The last video focused on the lesson objective tied to the transform step, which was actually developing the model. And in this video, we will focus on the lesson objective tied to the solve step, which is given an initial condition, manually iterate a recursion equation. Recall the cookie jar problem and our model where we define P sub N to be the amount of money in dollars in a cookie jar after N work days. In our modeling process through the transform step, we identified some reasonable and necessary assumptions which equate to working for 250 days each year. And this was critical because we were trying to find how much money would be in the cookie jar after one year and after two years. We also developed a model in which P sub zero or P naught equals 15 and P sub N equals P sub N minus one plus 0.75. So this is our model that we want to actually use throughout the rest of this video. And remember this video is specifically interested and tied to the lesson objective given an initial condition, manually iterate a recursion equation. And this truly is linked to the solve step because we want to solve our mathematical model and determine a mathematical solution. We want to iterate in order to find the amount in the cookie jar after one year and after two years. And this result would be a mathematical solution. To get this result, we have to use our mathematical model that we developed in the transform step, which is P naught equals 15 and P sub n equals P sub n minus one plus 0.75. So let's use our model to iterate. We have our initial condition at time zero, which equals 15, and we desire to find P sub one, after one day, how much money I would have in my account. To do this, we simply substitute in for n, the numerical value of one, equating to one day. And our result is that P sub one equals P sub one minus one plus 0.75, which is the equivalent of P naught, our initial condition, plus 0.75. We can take this one step further by substituting in what we know, which is our value for P naught. P naught equals 15, so we substitute in that value to find that P sub 1 equals 15 plus 0.75, which gives us a total of 15.75. We can continue this process to find P sub 2. After two days, how much money will be in the cookie jar? We find that P sub 2 is equal to P sub two minus one, again, just substituting it in two for N plus 0.75. And this equates to P sub one plus 0.75. We know P sub one, so we're able to substitute in our value that we found from the previous iteration to discover that P sub two equals 16.5, which is just P one plus 0.75. We can continue to iterate as we did in the past to find P sub three. And we find P sub three is dependent on P sub two plus 0.75 and equals P sub three equals 17.25. This is manually iterating a recursion equation. Where I am right now at time n is equal to where I was the time period before plus some change. In this manner, we can continue to iterate to find P sub four, P sub five, P sub six. But if we look back in the problem, all we've found so far is just the money in the account after one day, two days, 
and three days respectively. But to answer the question, to solve this problem, we need 250 days to find out how much money will be in the jar after one year and 500 days to find out how much money will be in the jar after two years. To do this, I'm gonna utilize Microsoft Excel.